Hey, Worldwide Whoop, it's Thursday, July 16th, and I'm wearing a raccoon fur coat. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is Abby wearing this Muppet on her back when it's really, really, really hot outside? Well, there's an interesting story behind that. Well, in addition to it having been my 21st birthday on Saturday, I went to Topeka with my family to help my grandmother and some friends um, help the husband of a good friend of theirs who died of cancer recently. Um, he was trying to unload his wife's closet. There were lots and lots of things of hers that he needed to get rid of just because, like, clothes and other things that weren't going to get used. Um, things that probably would have ended up going to Salvation Army otherwise. So we went through things and sorted out the things that we thought we liked and other things that we thought we were going to give away. Well, in the back of this closet was, well, you guessed it, the raccoon fur coat. And everybody else decided that for some reason it looked good on me and I should have it. So here I am sitting and showing off this raccoon fur coat, which I got on July 11th, my birthday, but not as a birthday present. But yes, I am 21 now. Um, I spent the evening with my mom, my dad, my aunt, uncle, and one of my cousins. We went out for dinner and dessert, and yes, I did use the 21-year-old privilege to the fullest extent that I could with my family around, and it was pretty darn fun. We had a really good time. So all in all, pretty interesting birthday, I think. One for the books. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, this thing is hot. It's itchy. It's it's coming off. It's It's coming off. There. Much better. Time for word of the week. So the word for this week is fighter, and so to tie that into current events, I thought that it would be a good opportunity to talk about the newest Supreme Court nominee, Judge Sonia Sotomayor. I think that Sonia Sotomayor is a fighter for a variety of reasons. Um, her years as the assistant DA in Manhattan, for one. Uh, the fact that she's going to be hearing a lot of legal cases in which there will be fighting going on and fighting that needs to be settled. And also her background. She grew up in the Bronx in a low-income family. She grew up in a public housing project and eventually became valedictorian of her class and graduated um, summa cum laude from Princeton. So I think that's pretty much considered a fight to the top. So that's why I think that Sotomayor is a great example of a fighter and a great example to use for this week's Word of the Week. Now, as Kate said, I believe it is my turn to set a word for the week, so I fired up the handy-dandy random word generator and we came up with organ. So the word for next week is organ. That's all for me, I'm afraid. I've got to go to bed really early so I can wake up, go to work at 7.30, and take care of babies. Marta, I'll see you tomorrow.